tell you to. Um, this time I'm going to show you how to um, install and make a very basic configuration on CUPS, the common Unix printing system, uh, widely used under all the Linux uh, distributions. Um, and in order to get started, we have to install it first. Um, to install an Ubuntu system, you enter sudo apt-get install and then cups and then you should add some additional packages too that is cups bsd cups client and cups common and you hit enter and then it will ask you for your password you enter that press enter and uh, I will install it. It just takes a few seconds here. And when it's done, we gotta change the configuration file so that you um, allow everybody on your network to connect to it and administer it when you have a, the appropriate password for it. So let's wait here so that the installation and configuration gets finished. Be done here in a second. Yeah, it's a very basic configuration. Um, I would use that uh, as your fallback configuration when you um, like to have a more security in there or just specify the workstation that is uh, able to uh, configure. The, the cup system then you got to specify that in the configuration file as well all right let's get in that configuration file sudo nano and then it's located under etc cups and then it's the cups d.conf hit enter and basically what you have to do to get started is to allow everybody under the locations um, directive yeah, just add underneath order allow deny the allow all then you go on and go to the location slash admin directive do the same thing here underneath um, order allow deny you add allow all and then the last one under the location slash admin slash conf do the same thing and then when you're done you just uh, configure and save that and then you you gotta restart the the cup service in order to uh, read in the uh, configuration changes in cups and restart and enter so the service gets restarted and then basically you go from your workstation and point your um, browser to in my case it's uh, 192.168.0.4.631 and then you have your common uh, your CUPS um, management interface and then you can go in administration and you will see soon when, you, when you're when gonna add or remove or change something it will ask you for your password and um, now you can add here new printer and find new printers if you have multiple cup servers they populate their um, inventory basically uh, among all those cup servers you know, and then you can manage your printers and I've set up my Samsung CLP 500 printer here and yeah basically that's already it you know you can go in jobs and configure classes but that is a, a something you got to read up yourself i just want to help you to get started with your uh, cup spring system and yeah if you have any questions or something unclear just um post post on my blog or just uh, post here on my youtube channel and don't forget if you like that one that clip then uh, subscribe to my channel or subscribe